right welcome back now it is time to start rigging the arms the arm model and as always there's a file prepared for this with the model so let's go to section 3 and lecture 3.1 and let's open the arms model file here and here we have the, the arm model that we're going to be using it's uh, some pretty basic low poly arms, kind of uh, blocky style, you know. And they are centered, but it's always good to check. They are centered, they are applied, the scale is applied, it's all good. So just like we did with, for the gun, we are going to start by creating a armature. And make sure that the 3D cursor is centered, so the armature is going to be created at the center basically and let's press shift a and choose armature and this is going to give us the huge bone here in the middle so let's just move that down a bit like that and this is going to be our root bone so this is going to be the bone that basically controls the whole rig. So if we want to move, move everything, like the whole the whole arms and everything, we can just use this bone to control the whole rig, basically. And also some some engines, especially Unreal Engine, they kind of require you to have a root bone. So it's always good good practice to have one. And let's just rename this to root. And let's rename the armature to arms rig yeah arms rig it makes sense all right and let's also turn on the axis names and in front so we can actually see the bones and let's go ahead and duplicate this bone so in edit mode select the bone and duplicate it and we can rotate it 90 degrees and scale up a bit and this is going to be the upper arm so this is going to be so we're going to start here and then we're kind of going to build, build our way down to the hands and the fingers but we're going to start with the upper arm here and one thing that i usually use for like the kind of low poly style arms is I actually position the bones very specifically on the mesh. So a method that I, that I use is that I select the mesh and then I use face select in the top left and then I select the face where I want the bone to be aligned with. So I select that and then press shift s and move the cursor to the selected here and this is going to put the cursor perfectly centered on this this uh, face and then we can just go back to object mode select the bone again in edit mode and select the top part of the bone and shift s and then move selection to cursor and it's going to be perfectly aligned and we can repeat this process for the the bottom part as well so let's select this whole piece here like that and select this one and move it to the cursor and that's gonna align our bones perfectly so we don't really have to to worry about them not being precise or anything like that it's very useful and for the lower arm let's just select select the end part here of the bone and move them and press E to extrude and drag it out and let's also rename these so let's as we go on let's call this one upper arm L because this is going to be the left side of the rig so let's call them L and this is going to be lower arm L like so and let's also change the role as we can see the role is a bit weird uh, Z is forward, so let's 
let's actually set the, the roll to zero so that z is up and x is forward and y is uh, out like this all right and we can use the same method here for the for this one we can just select this end piece here move the cursor and move this one it was already pretty perfect but you know just in case and also one thing you want to do when you're creating the arm rig is you want to move the elbow you want to move it a bit back like this because if it's if it's completely straight then when we add the ik and stuff later on there might be some weird kind of bending issues or it might kind of you know bend the wrong way which isn't good so let's move it back a bit like this so it kind of knows which way to naturally rotate and let's go down here to the the hand extrude press y sorry press x and extrude out and this is going to be our hand bone so let's rename it to hand underscore l like that and now it is time to make the fingers so let's to make the fingers we can just duplicate the hand bone select it and press shift d and we can scale that down and let's call this one index finger index finger zero one because it's the first first joint and left and let's extrude out so e and x call this one index finger o2 l and once more extrude out and index finger o3 l like that and we can use the same method again for aligning the bones properly so we can select the, the faces of each finger and move the cursor and then they are going to be perfectly aligned which is which is actually very necessary when we're rotating the fingers we want it to be we want it to rotate around the, the face here and not like over here because then there's there's going to be some unnatural kind of bending to it let me just fix the camera real quick where is it clip start we go and let's just repeat this process and when when creating more realistic models and real realistic briggs this method doesn't really work um, because then uh, you wouldn't actually align the bones so perfectly they would be more kind of naturally placed and uh, placed sort of where you feel like the joint would bend but since we're using uh, a cubic uh, model here it's it's very important that the, the bones are aligned perfectly all right so let's create the middle finger so let's select all index finger bones and duplicate them. So press Shift D and uh, Y and just move it up. And let's rename these to middle finger 01 L, middle finger 01 02, and middle finger 03. And let's duplicate them again and call this one ring finger o one l ring finger o two l and ring finger o three and last and smallest and least let's make the little finger. So little finger O1L 
for little finger O2L. And did I spell that right? Wait. <laughs> okay, so little finger O3L as well. And we also need the thumb, the thump. So let's make that. Let's duplicate these again. And press Shift D. And you can just, it doesn't have to be perfect for now. We can just place them out. And we will call it thumb O1L. Thumb O2L. And O3. Like that. All right. And we still have to align these bones proper perfectly because they are not they're not perfectly aligned. As we can see, the little finger kind of goes outside the mesh. Um, you know, stuff like that. So I'm just going to do that. I'm probably going to fast forward this because it's pretty boring to watch. Um, but yeah, it's just the same process as we used before. So select the face of the finger and move the cur cursor to the face. And then select the bone and move the bone to the cursor like that. So, and there we go. Now that we have placed out the uh, bones, uh, we need to make sure that they are all parented correctly. And as we can see here in the outliner, they are almost correctly parented, but we also need to correct connect the upper arm to the root. So everything should be under the root always. So the root bone is always like the top one and then the rest should be located underneath in like a hierarchy like this. So let's start by selecting the upper arm and go to relations in the bone properties and set the parent to root. And now we can see that the, the root bone is actually the top one. And then we have upper arm, lower arm and hand. But then the fingers are a bit problematic they are currently parented to the lower arm, which is not good. They should be parented to the hand. So if we move if we move the hand bone, we want the fingers to move with it, right? So let's select the fingers and change it to whoops. Let's change it to hand. And yeah, select the first one of each fingers and set them to be parented to the hand. Yep, like that. And now if we check the hierarchy here, we can see that it looks pretty good. Um, also check for spelling errors. That's <laughs> you don't want any spelling errors that could be could be kind of annoying later on. So make sure that it's correctly spelled. Uh, I hope I don't have any errors. That would be kind of embarrassing. <laughs> but yeah, make sure there's no errors uh, or misspellings. Um, yeah, and let's also move this one back a bit so it it's more clear. And now we can actually see these lines here going through to each bone. And we can see that the fingers are correctly parented to the hand. And if we switch to post mode and test it, we can actually see that everything's moving with the hand. And the hand is moving with the lower arm and so on. 
and also everything should be moving with the root like this all right so that is all for this part of the course um, in the next lecture we are going to be adding some controller bones so i'll see you guys in the next lecture